John, you've previously said Brexit was the beginning of a major realigning of our politics. Why? Well, the reason for that is that the values that are associated with whether or not people are for or against leaving the European Union are very different to the values that are associated with the traditional argument between left and right. And Neil Kinnock, sorry, Stephen Kinnock, sorry, made it very clear. For him, left versus right is essentially about the role of the state and what government can do to reduce inequality. And where you stand on that argument, whether or not you think we should make society more equal, or whether you think actually government should be creating the conditions for entrepreneurs to uh, promote economic growth from which we will eventually all profit, that argument is the standard classic central nub of our politics. And it is a division which where historically people in middle class occupations were rather more likely to take the right wing view than those in working class occupations. So that's the traditional pattern of British politics. Brexit, however, was not about the role of the state in reducing or otherwise inequality. It was much more about essentially uh, do you think that we should have the kind of society in which people basically decide for themselves what they do, or whether we need a society in which there's a degree of homogeneity and that therefore, for example, you know, people should have the same sense of national identity, speak the same language. Oh, and yes, and by the way, valued the importance of the United Kingdom um, as a representation of British identity uh, should be able to make its own decisions. Now, the point is that that argument between what I would call social liberals on the one hand and social conservatives on the other, that division's always been there. It's always been a bit of our politics. Social liberals, a bit more likely to vote Labour. Social conservatives, a bit more likely to, likely to vote Conservative. But it's not until recently been anything like as important. Brexit, however, because it was an argument between social liberals and social conservatives, and a division, not, and not an argument, not between people of different classes, but people of different ages and above all different educational backgrounds, cut across the traditional left-right divide. And because Brexit uh, resulted in the arguments about social liberals versus social conservatives becoming much more important to voters, because by 2019, as Stephen Kinnock was saying, they're voting for or against Brexit, that is what is essentially res responsible for the fact that our politics has been reframed, repositioned, and now looks very different. But if you're going to understand this, you have to realize that our politics is no longer about left versus right, as traditionally defined. It's now also about social liberals versus social conservatives. And therefore, it is more complex and more complicated um, uh, but it, uh, that still uh, allows for the possibility we could become pretty heavily polarised, as we definitely have been over Brexit in the last few years.